and welcome back to Read Out Loud with Daria. Today we're going to be reading When a Dragon Goes to School by Cariel Hart and Rosalind Bedshell. When a dragon hears us say, Hooray! We're off to school today. Does she refuse to come inside or try to run away and hide? Why no, dragons don't do that. A dragon scampers through the gate, then waves goodbye. She's never late. She shakes the rain drops from her wings, then takes off all her outdoor things and hang them nice and tidily. That's just how dragons are, you see? And after she has said hello, a dragon knows just where to go. She sits down in her special place. A dragon smile across her face. She is ready to begin the day. These things are just a dragon's way. Then when it's time to paint and draw, does this young dragon use a paw to decorate her little chair or toss the crayons in the air? Why no, dragons don't do that. A dragon hands the paper out. She doesn't make a mess or shout. She counts the pencils, one, two, three. Then draws a rainbow carefully and paints it red and green and blue. All dragons love bright things, do you? At lunch, a dragon is polite and never takes too big a bite. This small kind darling saves a space and extra lunchtime snacks in case a friend would like a tasty treat. Yes, dragons really are that sweet. But in the playground, does she win or hug the trike and shout, mine? Does this small dragon play too rough or march off in in a grumpy huff? Why no, dragons don't do that. A dragon shares the outdoor toys with other little girls and boys. Her dragon dance is so much fun. She's always friends with everyone who wants to join her dragon romp. Would you enjoy a dragon stomp? When splashing in the water tray, this little dragon laughs away. And if her playmates are upset because their clothes are getting wet, she'll help them tie their apron strings. All dragons do such thoughtful things. But if the day feels over long, That's when a dragon might go wrong. So tidy up the classroom then. Classroom. Then get comfy in the reading den and lose yourself inside a book. This dragon loves a story. Look. At home time, 
Does a dragon shout and try to get the books back out? Or growl and howl with all her might while clanging to the teacher's right tight? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon knows the day must end. So says goodbye to every friend. She wraps a scarf around her throat and finds her book bag and her coat, then skips out to her family. How perfect can a dragon be? And if she roars along the street and stamps her little dragon feet, more school, more school, you'll hear her call. Well, she is a dragon after all. Thank you for reading When a Dragon Goes to School with Me. If you like this video, click that subscribe button, turn the notifications and give me a huge thumbs up. See you guys later. Bye.